Hello everyone. We'll start with our new topic in module pool. That is model dialog box screen. We covered normal screen. We covered sub screen. Now it's a turn for model dialog box. Word itself is suggesting this screen will appear in the form of a dialog box in the form of a dialog suppose i will show you how the screen will be suppose if i am activating this table so you can see this is your some sort of dialog box screen this is your dialog box. Now, our next topic is how to display the output in the form of model dialog box screen. What will be our requirement? We will create a normal screen. Suppose 100. We will create a model dialog box screen suppose it is 200 we will create a label order number on 100 screen we will create a input field for order number and we will click create a submit button Whenever user will click on the submit button, the order header details will display in the form of a dialog box. Means whenever user will click on the submit button, one dialog box will open where the order header details will be visible. And whenever user will click on the OK button, control will again come to the Hunter screen. Suppose if I will show you the example which we covered. Suppose just understand this is our normal screen. On top of this normal screen, the dialog box screen will appear like this. Whenever you will perform the action on the model dialog box, control will be again back to the normal screen. This is our some sort of requirement. We will design the layout on normal screen. Whenever user will click on the submit button, the order header details will appear in the form of a dialog box. And whenever user will click OK on the model dialog box screen, control will be back to the original screen, means normal screen. This is the requirement and we will start with the practical part of this. I will go to SC38 transaction port and we will create our third module pool program. And this will be our model dialog box program. I'll click on to create button. Model dialog box. I'll write to display the order details. I will choose the type as module pool program, save as a local object. I will activate my module pool program and I will navigate to SC80 by clicking on to object list, display object list button. I will create two screens, create screen it is my normal screen. 
and this radio button is ticked. It means it is my normal screen. I will save this. Now I will create another screen, 200. Now this will be our model dialog box screen. Model dialog box screen. Now how we can make a model dialog box screen? I'll simply choose the radio button model dialog box and I will click on to save button. Now I will design the layout on both the windows, both the screens, sorry. I will go to 100 screen. I will open the screen painter. I will take a label for order number. This is a repetitive thing we are doing. I'll give some name to the label, suppose order underscore label. I will give the text to the label. I will take one input output field. And how I will give table name hyphen column name. This is what we are doing always now. table name hyphen column name. Enter. It is asking, do you want to refer? Yes. Now I will create a button. Suppose name of the button is submit underscore BTN. I will give some text to the button and every button requires a function code. We will double click properties open and we will provide a function code. I will save this layout, close. Now, similar way, I will design a layout on model dialog box screen. That is my 200. I open the screen painter and we know there is a shortcut to take the columns from the table. I will go to this button dictionary slash program fields. I'll pass the table name get from dictionary and I will choose the columns, whatever the columns are required. I do not want to convert payment mode. Done. All these are our output fields. So I'll simply, simply double click and remove the checkbox input similarly for other columns also removed i will remove this i will remove this we will save close now i will go to display mode and activate my full program full module pool program now we designed the layout for both the screens. Now, whenever user will click on the submit button of screen 100, we have to open the screen 200, which is our model dialog box screen. So I will go to 100 screen. Now, firstly, before what we will do, I will create a transaction code so that we can understand what we will do. Every module pool application requires a transaction code. So I'll create a transaction code. I will give some name to the transaction code. This is our model dialog box. 
program transaction. I'll choose the first radio button. I will pass the program. I will choose the screen number 100. I'll select these three check boxes and we will save. And you can see now this transaction becomes the part, this transaction code becomes the part of this program. I will run this program. What is our requirement? Whenever user will give the input and click on the submit button, my model dialog box screen should appear. And whenever user will click on to OK button of model dialog box, so control will again back to the previous screen. I forgot to create a OK button on model dialog box because on click on of OK, it should go back to the normal screen. So I'll create a OK button also on the model dialog box screen. I will take a push button. Suppose name of the button is OK. Text of the button is OK. And we will give a function code to the button. Suppose function code is also OK. I will close and I will activate this full program. Now, Whenever user will click on the submit button, we know process after input of 100 screen will call. It means in the process after input of 100 screen, we will write a logic to call the screen 200 which is our model dialog box screen. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.